One of the hottest things in real estate right now are aerial drones. They're relatively inexpensive, easy to use, and do really cool video. The problem is they're so hot, they can get you burned as well as your clients if you're not operating them properly. Hey there, it's Michael Creasy here, the executive editor with Agent Inner Circle from agentinnercircle.com and welcome to this week's video. And it's going to be about drones. Now before I get started, please in the comment section below this video, share with us if you're using drones in your business and if not, are you using a third party to do aerial videos for you and what the results have been. And as always, please feel free to like and share this video. So let's get into drones. For real estate purposes, I know it's easy to walk into Best Buy, pay 200 bucks, and son of a gun, you got a drone, you can be flying it. And if you talk to the salesperson, they'll say, yeah, you can fly it anywhere you want. That's not true. Within real estate, obviously, we're getting the drone so we can do aerial photographs and video of our listings. And as soon as you do that, you've now entered into the commercial arena. And I, I know what you're gonna say, Michael, I'm not planning to charge to do this. That'll be part of what I do when I list a property. The problem is it's marketing and marketing means commercial. So according to the FAA, you'll now have to register your drone with the FAA. You'll also have to get what's called an unmanned aerial systems certificate. And yeah, that means doing a test with the FAA. And I'll put a link below this video with all the requirements that are involved. The other thing that you have to keep in mind, these drones, they can go, you know, you're supposed to fly them around 400 feet, no higher than 400 feet, and their propellers are spinning at about 10,000 RPM. If that thing falls from the sky, it can and will do damage, not only to property, but to people. So you need to have liability insurance, because if you don't, well, if you don't, we live in a litigious society, so let's follow the food chain here for a second. They can come after you, but you're technically, uh, I don't want to say employee, but you're uh, an agent under your brokerage, so they can now come after the brokerage, your broker. But ultimately, the brokerage is hired by your sellers, which are the employers. So vicarious liability means that they can follow the food chain all the way up to your sellers, and now they can be held responsible for anything you do if you don't have insurance. So please make sure you've got insurance. And again, I'll put all the guidelines in the uh, corresponding article here. Now, the other thing is you can't just fly a drone over popular areas. You can't fly it over people unless you have consent or they're under a covered area or in a non-moving vehicle. So you've got to be very careful about how you fly these things. You can't fly them in a flight path. You can't fly them within five miles of an airport. So there are all these restrictions and limitations and of course they come with fines and penalties if you violate those. So you may be thinking, well Michael, why don't I just hire somebody? Well, you know what? That's a good idea. But before you do, there's certain questions you should ask. Number one, one, are they certified? Do they have their UA, UAS certificate? Are they insured? Ask them for references. See examples of the work that they've done. Again, even though you've hired somebody else, if they're not registered and they don't have insurance, you can be held liable. So, like I said, as much fun as these things are, and I'm not saying don't buy one or don't use them, just make sure you use them properly. So once again, it's Michael Creasy here, the executive editor with Agent Inner Circle from agentinnercircle.com. Please like and share our video, and I look forward to sharing more content with you next week.